Um, a couple things I noticed about Jewelus. First off, what I did was, I mean, I've seen Jewel enough. I haven't like really studied the lists in in vintage, but I just said, you know, what? I'm gonna take just naturally what I know about Jewel and cram some vintage stuff in it. And so I just like splatted like 68 cards or whatever from scratch. Then I took a look at the stock lists to see what I forgot. Um, you know, I think I forgot like, how can you forget Tinker? But just a few, a few things. It's like, oh shit, Talarian. I didn't even put Talarian in. Um, but again, just from memory. And I, I feel like PO is, uh, the deck is notoriously awful, but wins a shit ton, right? Like it's, it's constructed so incredibly poorly, but the power level is just such through the roof that it wins a lot. And I think you can reduce some of that horrendousness. Um, that being Saga, <laughs> it's a terrible Saga deck. Um, it might be that once I play it enough, it's just necessary and you got to play Saga, but I, I don't know. I played one match, both of the games I kept seven, both of the games I had turn one ring with force backup, uh, and both of the games I only had that because I had City and not Saga. If I had Saga, I would not have had a turn one ring. I would have been just passing with force up. So, I, I, I mean, we see it in Legacy where we make builds with Saga, we make builds without. There's pros, there's cons. It's really tough to say what is correct. It's basically just the trade-off, preference, that sort of thing. Maybe one is better than the other. It depends on your build, right? I don't know if it's going to be the same thing in Vintage, or if it's simply just that Saga is that bad, or if it's simply that Saga is just that necessary. Like, obviously, I get... That was a conscious decision. That was after a bunch of um, gold fishing. So regular Jewel plays PO, does not play Transmute Artifact, does not play Copy Artifact, and it wins with a Karn or Constructs, right? I should probably be playing a Karn, but I'm not, I'm not going to go there just yet. Maybe I'm not supposed to play a key. I don't know. There's, there are some things. Should I have a pedal? Probably. Uh, that was kind of a fleeting thought last night, but we're in the middle of the league with this, so I'm going to continue with this at least for now. Um, but I think two. I think there's three major reasons why uh, that kind of bolster the complaints about Jewel in in Vintage Saga, how awful Saga is in this deck. Um, PO, how awful, uncastable, and unplayable PO is in the deck. Obviously, it's it's a strong card. When you can cast it, it's insane. Maybe it's the better choice. But I think Transmute Artifact is probably the way to go. Oh shit, big raid coming from Spike. Thank you so much. Hope you guys had a good raid. We are just starting. Hold on, I've got some music going on in my ear. I think I'm actually going to turn it off because at this point, a little distracting for me. Um, but I'm trying to take a, a, a bit of a fresh take on Jewel here. Vintage. Where the hell? Yeah, there we go. So I'm typically, obviously, a legacy player. I don't play a ton of vintage, but I do consume content. I have dabbled uh, over the past years. Uh, I play a ton of vintage cube. Like, I've played since revised. I know the cards. I know how the, the deck operates. Created Jewel to, you know, reasonable success in legacy. And I have a tournament coming up that you can win power. 15 proxy, $500 buy-in. I might uh, do some... I'm fucking... I'm fed up with Legacy right now as well, so that kind of helps as far as, like, you know, wanting to do this. But uh, we're one match in. I won owed, you know, both games, so that's pretty sweet. But basically, I, I don't think PO is great in the deck. I don't think Saga is great in the deck. Um, and I think Time Vault... Is unnecessary, right? Like Vintage Jewel typically does not play Emrakul, does not play Transmute Artifact, and does not play Paradox Engine. However, I think it is the best win con for the deck, and is, and again, this is. I mean, it's been incredible in Legacy. Maybe that's not the case in, in Vintage. But what I see as an issue is you're you have to win with it's like constructs, time walk, Karn stuff. Basically, you know, you assemble infinite turns. And then you kill them that, that way, which has its problems. It's fragile. You have to assemble multiple pieces. I mean, once you obviously have infinite turns, it's a bit different. Sometimes you have issues because you have mana crypt or you're taking life from one ring, whatever. 
the benefit uh, for me with this version is twofold. One, I think Transmute Artifact is just better than PO. Difficult to cast? Yes, obviously. It's part of Jewel, part of the power level uh, consistency trade-off that you kind of walk into. However, PO is, also, is to me like equally more so even uh, uncastable at least to an effective point than Transmute Artifact is. And when you play Transmute Artifact, you know, the, uh, it's basically Tinker at Home. <laughs> but when you play Transmute Artifact, you can then play Engine. And once you get Engine going, you just draw your whole deck. And Emrakul gives you infinite turns as well, except it's also, it's the one card combo, right? In my Gold Fishing, I had Time Vault, because fucking hell, it's Time Vault. And maybe that's correct, but I found that I was winning the way that you normally win with Jewel, which is just drawing your whole fucking deck and you don't need it, right? You certainly don't need both. You don't need to take infinite turns and then find your Emrakul when you've already drawn your old deck. You just find the Emrakul. And if you don't know how it works with Emrakul, you... So, uh, the basic thing is you start chaining jewels, obviously, and then you wind up hitting Transmute Artifact that allows you to get Paradox Engine, and then you have a bajillion mana and you keep untapping your ring. ring. So you've drawn your deck. Once you've drawn your deck, um, you can play Emrakul. Once you've played Emrakul, you can then copy Emrakul with Phyrexian Metamorph. You Legend Rule, keeping the Metamorph, shuffling the Emrakul back in, your, your graveyard shuffles, and, uh, and then you draw back into it. So you literally get infinite turns with Emrakul and infinite Emrakul uh, attacks. It's, you know, discard proof. You can't needle Emrakul. It, you, you would basically have to get it in the graveyard and then also interact with it on the stack. My opponent in the other game that I played tried to mill me out with Brain Freeze. It just... <laughs> like in the middle of me going off, too. I think there was a point where maybe they could have gotten me if I had gotten greedy with the ring. Something that made me think, like, okay, you know, there's an, a number of Brain Freeze in the format. Gotta watch out when going off. If they have an unknown card, mana for Brain Freeze, you can definitely mill yourself. Um, but luckily, I, I didn't really... Once I had it, I just started casting... Emrakul multiple times, right? You can even cast it and then just bounce it with Odawara. It is a quicker way to do it if you want to just, you know. But most people will just scoop to the Emrakul anyways. Um, but not always. Sometimes people have some sort of out. They have enough permanence, whatever it is, and you just gotta show them like, hey, this is uh, this is infinite. <laughs> uh, I'm certainly less uh, um, familiar with how sideboards in, in Vintage kind of operate, so this is probably... It, it, more of a like copied thing and then just kind of tweaking it a little bit um but i i don't really have too much confidence in in any sort of sideboard in this format so we'll see how how that goes but i do think relic of Sauron goes a long way we play one in in legacy because if your ring gets needled when you're trying to pop off um it's nice to have another card that does still just go infinite once you get engine a couple mana rocks going so that's nice also it just it really helps uh, cast our spells, right? Because the big thing about Jewel is it's really difficult to cast your blue cards and it's really difficult to have enough blue cards for Force of Will. So we haven't... We're, we're still going to be... Have some issues, obviously, with Force of Will, but that's just kind of that power level consistency thing that we talked about. However, I do think I have a little more blue cards. We have 1, 2, 3, it's 12, 13, 14, 16. Yeah, we're running 18. The list I've seen had 17, so I guess we have one more. You know, it's still not great, but... play against AFX. I guess I would probably want to make this bigger, huh? More like that. Alright. We can keep this. It's it's close. You're not in love with this hand. But it could be great. It could be anything. Big Lord Ancestral. Oh boy. We're doomed. We kind of have to just hold up Ancestral, though. And if we get a blue source, a force, uh, 
another one ring. There's a lot of threatening things. They drew a mock sapphire. <laughs> oh my god. It's got to be like one of the best draws. Oh, they didn't even play out. I'm just going to hold up Bowmasters. That makes sense. It's so horrendous for us. I guess any mocks would have done it, but still. Oh, okay. This is actually awkwardly enough better. Maybe. Depends what they drew, obviously. Oh, there's a jewel. If they didn't draw a force, we could just win right now pretty easily. I think we're supposed to go for it instead of one ringing. Ring gets really dicey really quickly. Whereas Jewel just literally wins if they didn't draw a force. Because Spell Pierce also does it. We're in. Game looks pretty easy. Vintage, easy format. Not that difficult. We're going fast, folks. We're going real fast. This is how you zoom. This is how you get the zoomies. <clears throat> All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Forces out, grids in. All them in, dismembers in, arm coils in. I guess I don't mind a mass the core. I didn't play it last time, but it's probably pretty good. Maybe transfer is just bad on the draw. Pro trim a couple copy artifacts, couple jewels. Another jewel, or is it probe? Probe probably still good. Because I'm playing defense grid. No, I can play challenges. I, I just don't reap any of the benefits. So if I win, I can't do anything with the winnings outside of the account. If I want more than one jewel. You know what? I can trim relic. I think I want two jewels. We are trimming jewels from the jewel deck, yes. Sand is honestly pretty sweet, I guess. It's got problems, but what jewel hand doesn't? You know, Mox Jeff for dismember. Um, nothing classic. Got me with the, the old classic. Okay. Okay. I don't really care about these. First the hand. Okay. First plus three unknown. It's gotta be some sort of interaction, of course. This still feels good. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of action around these cards, and then we're eventually just gonna hit a blue source and pull ahead with ancestral. These are annoying, but they don't really have anything else going on themselves. They can't even cast Luris. That's terrible. They get a hold workshop. Don't really see any reason to play it. Zog is terrifying. Very much so. I think I'm priced into playing this to turn on land. As a draw, now that Saga is pressuring us. This member might like keep our head above water. We'll see. We need to hit a mana source. It's been well, we did draw an ancient tomb, we just got wasted twice. I think we play around Force Negation and Spell Pierce. This card doesn't, like, just win us the game. But, okay, so they just had Force. 
not not great, but I'd rather have Jewel. Because now we're under pressure and we gotta like just win. Jewel's better at doing that. It's a black lotus. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Oh boy. All right. All right. Any mana source, please. Blue mana source would be nice. That works too. Fours or no? Spell pierce. No way, dude. So we killed this. Four, seven, eight. Not quite dead yet. We kill Luris. Two artifacts we die to. Lotus with Luris. Bummer. Ooh, and a force negation. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fine, fine. He, he got it. Too many dead draws in a row there. All right, resubmit. Or wait. Uh, transfer, come back. Get back in there. Cutting. Let me just mask the core. I don't think we need that. Maybe I do. It's not the greatest against the constructs, though. Really wish MTG bot was up. Oh, come on. I don't think I'm allowed to keep this. I really want to. We had any fast mana source, we can start jamming shit down their throat, turn after turn, but... 3-4, Delarian. This one's decent. a good one one of the better cards right <laughs> cheating what a cheater man what a cheater just takes an extra turn transmute is so good here That's why it's so good. We get to threaten a jewel by only paying two mana and one card. Yeah, two cards, one land. Three cards, one land. Three cards. Okay. So we play around Spell Pierce, right? Oops. No Bowmasters. Holy shit. Alright, they're in huge trouble. Still playing around Spell Pierce? Oh! Now they're F6th. It's an engine, but we have no way to draw cards, but at least we can kill something. I want them to spell pierce it. Yeah, I'm still going to play into spell pierce. That's fine. I do have it. Wow. Wow, we. Still no bowmasters. Still no way to draw cards. Still kind of ripping off the top here. Dig? That's not good. 
We whiffed pretty hard. Good news is Emrakul's a good draw. Three, six, seven, eight. Well, can't cast it with Mightstone. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. We have 21 mana, 26 if you count artifact, mana for artifacts. This is where I wish I had a Relic of Sauron or a Ring, really just any action. Come on. I guess that counts. I mean, it does. It definitely counts, right? Get to untap our monoliths. That one's pretty good. Certainly problems with attacking because of Bowmasters. Please let me pass. Okay. This Bowmasters makes two attackers. Dismember is not good enough. We can't draw anything. Wouldn't they have cast it last turn though? They could have drawn it this turn. I think I'm attacking. I didn't be able to take the jewels. Well, they draw six. Forget it. Things they might only attack with one thing if they have bowmasters. Probably not the case. But, okay, so they confirmed, confirmed, still don't have it. Do you like that we're applying pressure? Do you like that we're gaining life as well? Concerning they're not even putting Luris into hand. I think they have a force negation. Oh, okay. Pretty good for us. Can I draw something, please? Come on. I don't like this position. We're about to get vintaged. Scoop? You drew all garbage and you're a vintage player, so you scoop. Yeah. Right? Hm. Maybe. Literally seen seven new cards, so probably not scooping. Don't care about that card. Building up Force of Will. Okay. Okay. I'm terrified of Bowmasters. Not sure we can continue to attack. Oh. Do we attack first, or do we use this to see what happens first? Like, if they have to tap out for a Force of Will, then we know we can attack, which is good. At the same time, we can have tricks with Odawara in attacks. Attacking could be our demise, but I, I think we're still supposed to attack. Okay. Jeez. Oh, what do you think? We have like infinite mana to bounce and replay jewel. I do think they have a force negation is the problem. And I think I just want to save this for blockers and stay the course. Even just them stealing jewels could be annoying. Yep.
Trap. Okay. So I can at least bounce one of my jewels so that they only get one. And then I'll also have one. They're at one, so everything needs to be like heart, or not everything, but they can't pitch cast Force of Will. And if they only attack with one here, they're screwed. Okay. Now they can afford to attack with two. And Metamorph is just lethal. Where's the hand? Where's in play? We still can't draw anything. It was like five turns in a row. Nothing. Um... See if they want to touch this. Probably not. We have no actual blue mana. That's pretty funny. You have a force. No. You're dead. All right, we're back. Done eating. It's in? Oh, boy. Excuse me. Could just be Trinosphere. Just play Trinosphere? Just Trinosphere, pay one additional, and then we ring. That's got to be it. <clears throat> we could start jeweling, obviously, which would probably also win, but this seems uh, more powerful. I don't really know how they get out of this, right? Like Poxwalkers? They would have to cast something from Graveyard. Yeah. Take our one, no, Take our one, Got two, give me a land drop. Thank you. All right. Found a land. I don't think they can afford to use that. No. Need some more life. Need some more life. Draw some more cards. So, basically do this until we find Talarian. Does Workshop help? Gives me six. Yeah, I think Workshop does it, because now I can transmute. Yeah, that's good enough.
a monolith. And the game is over. Wheat. Turn one Trinosphere into Ring. Pretty, pretty powerful. Ugh. This freaking deck, huh? The hell do we do about this deck post board? Force of Vigor is annoying. We just play grids. I think we just play grids. A chalice. Uh, it's the Squee, it's like the Countervine version, so they do not play, like, Collect Roof and all that shit. They just play a million counters and Force of Vigors, if I'm not mistaken. Do we like everything else? I want Worm Coil. It would bite us some time. We don't need Might Stone. Try this. Hello, Legacy. Grid is good, though. People say God is good, but I'm an atheist, and I say Grid is good. <laughs> I believe in Grid. Oh my god, they have a bazaar. That's crazy. They started on a bazaar. It's a good one. Okay. Master of Death, four cards. And a hollow by hollow one. It's a good one. This resolves. I'll feel pretty good about this. If it doesn't, they're still in pretty low resources. I mean, the deck is meant to operate off of low resources, but still, it counts for something. Okay, they did have it. Kind of as expected. But now they go up to two, draw step is three, bazaar is five, down to two. So they can still have a force, and they have a ton of looks at it, as they usually do. They could just find a wasteland instead. Two master of deaths now, and a strip mine, yep. Relentless. Or of a kind. Okay. Definitely behind at this point. Do I get to stay alive for another second? You do not. Yep, yeah, that's how it be sometimes. I supposed to play more worm coils, huh? Two, four, five, six, seven. I mean, it's good, but probably gets stopped. Mm. It's decent against force of negation. I feel like we lose with this hand, though. Draw into a blue source would be really good. Transmute's pretty dead. I would rather have a hand that was just like grid and then a turn two thing. I'm gonna mulligan. The hand was very close though. All right, this one is better. I think it can threaten something on turn one and turn two. Thanks for hanging out, Emmy. I hit a regular mulligan. Only one. Bummer. So if we open with Ring, obviously they counter it. Then we have enough for Relic into Tinker. You could also just play Relic, but that plays into Force of Vigor. Playing Ring, if they have 
Force of Vigor and Force of Will, sure. Yeah, I think it's supposed to go. Make them have it. They don't have it. So they probably have Force of Vigor. Very interesting. <clears throat> I think I still play out Sapphire. They play Needles. They might have a Needle. They might just have a Needle. Okay. No aggression just yet. Force of Vigor incoming? No. Huh. We can Ruby Jewel. Or Relic Tinker. Or just Tinker. Tinker wins if it resolves. That's if it resolves, you know? You have to put some thought into your plays when your opponent plays eight forces and some amount of Mind Break Trap as well. They didn't have it last turn, but they just saw three new, three fresh cards, and they weren't Force of Vigors. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're in trouble. Even if they have Force of Vigor here, I mean, they would have used it. They don't have Force of Vigor. They didn't find shit, and they're dead. Um, That's two spells. Okay, well, already in that territory. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. We're, just, we're drawing a bajillion. We've drawn the deck. Once we get grid into play, we don't have to worry about trap at all. Like on our... Emrakul or something. In fact, we can just do that right now if we want. Where are you at, Emmy? Time walk. There she is. Hey, for two oh, baby. On the draw, her hand kind of stinks. Opponent also mulliganed. It makes two, three, five on turn one. Otherwise, isn't great. OP stays on six. You know, Mulligan. Someone makes a turn one ring. It's a lot better. Keep Jewel or keep the land? Probably keep Jewel. Getting griefed. Thought we were getting away from this. <laughs> cool. Bizarre. Okay. Yeah, this one's most important. Then this one. And now I still have six the jewel, even if this gets trapped. It's whatever. No activation. Now they activate... No dredgers, two cards in hand. Yep, we're in trouble. Now they're just trying to find dredgers. They found a dredge three, found a bridge. Dark Amoeba, Cabal Therapy, Icarids are coming in. 
Fine with F6ing. We have two, four, five mana. We can't jewel if we draw it. Oh, we're frozen. No, 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 no. Because they have freaking Future Sight Narc Amoebas. Come on. I can't get back into it. I have to play this on my laptop. There's already a known issue. <clears throat> Gonna have to give you a uh, verbal play-by-play. -play. All right, they're getting in with their Icarids. I mean, we're probably dead this game. At least I'll be able to test my theory almost immediately. They've got about, I don't know, 73,000 prized amalgam triggers. Roughly. Can we draw? City of Traders, not going to cut it. They have lethal. Moving to sideboarding. We don't really have anything to bring in. Good defense grids, which surely will be better than Force of Will. Lodestone Golem seems good. Eh, yeah, because they can't Cabal Therapy. Forces Dismembers, Worm Coils. Worm Coil might be better than something. I like Trinosphere. Well... No, Trinosphere is fine. Might Stone. Yeah, I'd rather have a Worm Coil than a Might Stone. I'd like to have the option. Okay, we are in game two. I'm going to make an attempt to now log out. They're great. As in, you think I should play more of them? You're probably right. I just, I'm not as familiar with just how many zombies they wind up throwing at you. Ooh, we're back. Okay. So, all right, that's awesome. That's a lot better. It was only specific to one game. The sand plays a turn one three ball into nothing. Into nothing. Really good against Force of Vigor. Do they play Force of Vigor? They don't have enough green cards, right? I don't think we can keep this. I think it's asking too much. I mean, any blue source gets us recall. You probably get griefed, though, if anything. Unless Trinosphere resolves, obviously. I don't think I can keep this. It was close, that's for sure. This one's got a ton of mana, but nothing. Classic nothing. I don't think this is a great matchup to begin with. There's definitely ways where you can just crush them game one, and then I think you are advantaged, at least just from first uh, impression. But now we're on five. We don't even have a route to a turn two or anything. I'm going to four. All right. This is better than the other hands. Honestly, if this resolves, we're cooking. Not resolving. We're not cooking. We got cooked. Oh my god, they have a bizarre of Baghdad. Did they ever mulligan more than once? We've only had played against mold, uh, moles to six. Okay, all right. We have a chance. We have a chance. Come on. I'm freaking real, dude. They've had two things on six. Both games. Like, they do mulligan lower than six, right? <laughs> like, it does happen. You can't really beat Dredge on seven, I've heard, and they've been on six both times. It's all right. Sometimes you get vintage. We had a banger of a four-card hand. I'll say that. 
Turn one turn is three under turn two ring is pretty good for four cards. Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. It's gonna happen every game that they every time. We're pretty much dead, but we're not quite dead yet. <laughs> uh, Legacy starts in 15 minutes. I did tell my opponent that this is happening, and will you please get different Narc Amoebas until he fix it? Okay, we are on our draw step. We drew Tinker, but we have no artifacts. I'm going to pass. We're at 14. I'm not going to play my Talarian Academy. They have two Icarids coming in. That's 9, 10. They have 11 damage on board. We're at 14, so we're dead to a Creeping Chill. They do have Force of Vigors, huh? Well, Therapy. No Creeping Chill. Or Dredging. The Narc Amoeba does it freeze on this computer. So, uh, looks like we're not quite dead yet. How many Cabal Therapies? They have... They do have two Cabal Therapies, so... We're gonna have to top deck a ring. They counted wrong. Six, nine, ten, eleven... No, we're at three. Well, therapy coming in, naming. Be funny if they snipe it. Covered a jewel. Good guess. They do have cabal therapy number two, so Tinker is gone. I think one ring is our only out. We don't have blue mana. We have a city and a workshop in play with the Tolarian Academy, and now our Tinker just got discarded. Come on, baby, one ring, one time. Then they can't Creeping Chill, right? We drew a Defense Grid. That would have been fantastic last turn. All right. We died. That's okay. And does not do a turn one thing. And it doesn't do two things by turn two. It's pretty likely to do two things by turn two, but fairly unlikely to do anything turn one outside of playing a monolith. I think this is too low power level. For the format. Um, this one has some power. Hmm. A little bit of power. God, imagine if we were on the play. Okay. Sure. Wow. Um playing to trap no matter what. Guess I just play ancient tomb. Horse pitching attracts a horse back. We're in. Ooh. Going back in. Looking like we're in it to win it. 
Oh yeah. Pretty easy game. Talk about this game being hard. I don't get it. <laughs> Got him. Got with the jewels. All right, demonic tutor force pitching. What did they pitch again? Um, Atraxa. So this is oath. This is oath. I may want grids on the play, but probably still not. Golem seems good though. Do I want transfer on the draw? I don't want Might Stone. Do they play Collector Roof? How much Collector Roof do they play? Maybe I do want Might Stone. They're not gonna play Needle, so I don't need Relic. Trim one copy artifact, but I don't really want to trim blue cards, I'll trim a land. Does anyone know? Not as much of a vintage gamer. Collector roof. Good luck of a list, but don't want to. Renosphere on the draw. I don't think it just doesn't really work on the draw, right? John with the 16 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Do they want to oath into that? Uh, Yeah, you would. <laughs> against decks that you want uh black roof 100 percent i'm not gonna play it how's that with no run yeah we bring in hercules okay one to do one to two null rod okay One's pretty unplayable. All right. Turn one ring into turn two tinker. I'll take it. Definitely take that. Blend go. Here I come. Horse pitching a track, so you got it. Oath, you got it. Wish it were an artifact, huh? Ripped. Oh, I think they're F6th. Oh, yeah. We are in there. Uh-oh, it's looking a little thin. I'm going to keep that for engine. GG. Whoopi said, am I not supposed to counter ring somehow? I want to tell them it's vintage. Uh, meh, probably dead if you don't. Shuffle. Um, no, I just put five power into play, right? Good enough. Way we don't have to do this anymore. Only ever played one, though. I've liked your combo decks for a long time. I've only ever played one, though, a long time ago. It was a Lurin. Any particular reason you're playing the challenge? Don't play Lurin. Um, sure, get in for one. 
These wins slower. We need more content. Well, that's why we're playing two challenges at once. He said, yeah, you killed me with a lot of them. Tend to play decks that are bad into combo. All right. Well, sorry. Legacy's almost starting. All right, I'm going to tell him. Okay, come on. Bang a ring. All right. Staying alive. And we're getting doomsdayed. Okay, this hand. Turn one turn sphere gets to take a look. Uh, we're on the draw. I guess we can still keep it though. Cool. All right, looks like we lost the legacy match. What a bullshit match, huh? Our opponent does nothing, essentially. Oh, oath, oath, so gross. Um, they counter Trinisphere, then we do ring stuff. Or they can let it go and besage it. That'd be fine too. All right, we're dead in legacy. They might leave it, because then they can hold up Besage you and Force, but then they have to, like, just hold it up. Oh, we should have played Mox Emerald, huh? What a dummy. Oh, yeah, I play Vintage. That's all right. They're going to they're gonna smack it soon. Hmm. We could have played Metamorph, I suppose. But then if they draw land, we're in trouble. And so now they besage you. We get an island, which is really good here. They force this. Pitching Oko, right? Oh, pitching force. They still have Oko. Yay. Now we go time walk. Let's take a walk. Action. Or blue source. Neither. It's not good. Not good. I was going to say, please play a Mox Sapphire. <laughs> Here comes Oath. Or no, no, Oko. Right, right, right. Sure. Make a food. Okay. I still feel good here. Nice timing. Do they just do Oko stuff? Yeah. So close to just winning on the spot. That'll do. That will most certainly do. Oh, these things aren't working. Working now? Yes. Okay. Ooh, baby. Another besager could be annoying. Oh, they're off it. I don't blame them. Okay. What forces not grids? I do like Lodestone. Remember, probably not necessary. Yeah, we're fine. Trim Might Stone. Don't want this on the draw. Trim a copy artifact. Don't need Relic against them. Trim a land on the draw. It's good to me. When we have 
this many copy effects? Yes. Sometimes it won't be good, but we only have one and we have tutors for it, so. I feel like this hand is kind of a trap. It's on the draw and does have a time walk. They kept on seven. Like it's just not doing enough. It has similar issues. Plays an engine, has a force, has a lot of explosive mana, but nowhere to go with it. If we draw any action, it is very good, and they may feel compelled to counter engine. I guess I'm actually going to keep this. I'm not thrilled with it, but I will keep it. We also have reasonable access to a lot of blue, even without jewel, which is a rarity. What force the blue card need to keep engine? Definitely keep him workshop and monolith. It's between Sapphire and Talarian. I guess Sapphire goes down. Definitely a bummer, but I think this Talarian is probably going to be worth more. What is happening? Ancestral? Definitely forcing that. They force back. Pitching Tinker, I like that. They get their three cards, we take our turn. Transmute's good. Transmute is very good. If only we could have kept our seven. But still reasonably likely to, you know, like, we're going to play Engine, and then Delarian's going to give us two, and then with Transmute on the stack, we can make a bunch of mana, and we'll be able to Jewel with an Engine in play. Depending on what we draw, we might just get one ring instead. Sapphire, Oath, sure. And they have four cards. Hopefully no more interaction. That's a good one. So if we play out Mox, three, six, seven, eight, definitely playing around Spell Pierce, three, six, Seven. Oh, I guess we're still playing around Spell Pierce either way, so I'm just going to play Engine. Just had a Force. Okay. Pitching a Traxa. Play Mox. You get a 4-drop. You get a 1-ring, but no trigger. We get rid of Trinisphere, but that wouldn't be good anyways. Guess we get a one ring. Wish this were an artifact. Lodestone, definitely not good enough here. That's for sure. All right, Atraxa, do your worst. We have some material in play, though. Because you have to cast it. The reason it does trigger with Copy Artifact and Phyrexian Metamorph is because it comes into play as the One Ring, and you did cast it, so you did cast the One Ring, is the best way to put it. But you did not cast it if it comes off a Transmute. That's a Null Rod. Okay, well, both teams fought hard on this one. Lord Beavis with the raid. Thanks, man. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. We're in game two. We dumpstered them game one. They're dumpstering us this game. We can copy a one ring. We can get cheeky and copy their null rod. How about that? Yeah, we don't really bring in outs to this. There's Odawara, but even if we draw Odawara, we don't have the mana to use it. Make sure you check out Lord Beerus' stream. Mostly plays Vintage, if I'm not mistaken. Good stuff. We've tuned in a number of times. Um, yeah, we can move on. And I think recently, 
He's been playing a little bit of Legacy. Give him a follow. Check him out. Thanks again for the raid. Um, on the play. I want Trinosphere back. I don't want Trap. I think that's it. We're down to land. We took it off on the draw. I think I'm okay with just keeping it out. Keeping it 100, as they say. It's a lot of those. There's so much mana in the deck that I think we're supposed to keep this, but it, God, it feels like... You know? We need to draw into mana, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. I'm going to keep... Yeah, there's definitely some pain involved. They also kept on seven. Okay, we... The soul land, that's pretty good. Don't hate that. They've got a null rod, no backup. We've got a tinker. Their hand is decent. They show us their draw. There's no rod. It's transmute. They have five cards? Yes. Perfect information. Mox, 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 mox. That'll do. So many things that are just as good as drawing a mox. Like, you have a soul land, you're hoping for a mox? Well, workshop, that counts. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right. Tinker probably gets no rod. If they drew Force of Will, it's going to be problematic. They did not. All right, we desperately need at least the blue card. Or not desperately, but... Feel a lot better about this game. If we find a blue card, there it is. Whew. Ooh, doggy. Oh. Um, okay, we are on the draw. We have a decent hand. I will I'll keep this. Uh, it's not 100% complete just yet. But oh, we got a force. We got an opener with monolith. Any fast mana gives us a turn one jewel with force backup. No, that's not true. I mean, turn two. A lot of mocks in, which is actually not a terrible sign since we have force. Where's the hand? All right. Doing Lurus stuff. Got it. Ooh. It's a great draw. We're switching treasure crews. Last card is Alurus plus unknown. Definitely forcing back. I think I'm just pitching time walk. I think I'd rather have the copy effect. Alright. See, you can't even you have to throw this hand back if that's the saga, right? You can't even can't even play the hand. That's not good. All right, any mana. Classic any mana situation. You can copy Luris. That's funny. Oh come on, that is heartbreaking. All right, they have nothing to play with Luris. I still feel ahead. Sure. All right, here's a Mox Jet. Here's a One Ring. I say, is it really last card, Bowmaster? Oh, we gotta get moving here. Can we find a workshop? Found a bobble, that's not good. Soul ring. Maybe I was supposed to draw before they drew cards there. 
I think I was. I think that was a mistake. Where they drop Bowmasters. Missed up. Here's two cards. I think I need this mana. Like, I, I think we take an extra point of damage and draw cards before they get to draw their bobble cards. Or their bobble card. Yeah, the MTG bot isn't even, like, detecting that we're playing Vintage. Oh, because it's set up for my other account. Oh, what a dummy. What a dummy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Durr. All right. Do we want to take one more damage to draw before this? I think the answer is yes. We go to eight, take three more, go to five. Yeah. Okay. Draw a step. Okay. Are we in? Still not dead yet, if we're not. Okay, they have a hard cast force. And they push the five, then we go to two. Bowmasters does kill us. I let them draw this time, because I'd rather be at two. Oh, all right. We don't have to worry about Bowmasters. Ooh, that's good. We're drawing a ton of cards, though. I do think we're favored here. But it's really close. It's pretty good. Three for five, two, so we can't engine yet. Oh, baby. We are in. Keep it going. All thanks to, yet again, City of Traders, by the way. And we have six. That means we can play Engine into Recall. I think I still just want to go up a mana. They probably scoop to this, right? No. Much of nothing to fluster, sure. Wanna see the win con? Sure, 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 sure. Here's my win condition. Here's my placement ring. Well, they're a double Emmy, but they trust me. Yes, yeah, important to play the not lose con for sure. All right, I think back to forces out, grids in, golem in. Just members in. 
worm coils in trim jewel transfer on the draw comes out trim copy artifacts mass the core like might stone undecided on mass the core probably better than a relic not getting needled Yeah, if you've won, don't go and lose, you know? Make sure you pull off the winning part first. Oh! There's a lot of good about this hand. I don't think we can keep it. They're on seven, though. Any mana source we're popping. This member's also pretty decent. Right, let me re-familiarize myself with this. So we got 15 lands. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. A redraw. Horse is not a good draw. 24. And we have one out. So 23. So it's like a 45%. Broke hand the first try. So two 45% is like, we're shooting for like high 60s. And then in the high 70s by turn three, which at that point, it's probably too late. I think we have better odds mulliganing, but it's really close. This hand is like what that hand wanted to do. So I'm in. Hell yeah. I think this hand goes island jet grid. So we don't get wastelanded. Don't. <laughs> Don't think about it. They would never. They wouldn't dare. It's a good one. Now if they strip, it's fine. in hmm. interesting yep pretty much are we getting saga not really this doesn't feel good though okay okay i think this was the worm coil first Time Vault Kill? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be playing these then. It could be jewels right now. We're getting the combo aspect of this deck. Well, it's not like they're going to walk in to mass the core, so we're still playing Worm Coil. Full ring key, mana vault. Yeah, I think they got it from here. Um, all right, I still want grids, but yeah, I cannot afford to be playing these. We want our Trinosphere back. Play the relic. No relic. Play a uh, copy artifact. All right, that was a not being a vintage gamer loss. Oh, this hand. Um, I'm going to play it. It's definitely got issues, but I'm going to play it. Oops. Oh! Issues solved. Ooh. Do they counter Might Stone? Probably not. This hand has some problems still, huh? Yeah, they would they would they would not trap Might Stone. Because I wouldn't let them trap it. My question is would they force it? 
Then they would trap Tinker. They might not even force Smite Stone, which puts us probably in a worse position. We can play Mana Rocks out and pass. We can play a land. We can play City. Do I get Strip Mine if I play City? Probably not. Probed, you can't Might Stone around Trap. Oh, you're right. You are correct. There's not a good play to make right now. Full stop. Land pass is pretty bad too. But... They might force this. This is the type of... One of the only types of cards that could get through something like this. I don't think I make a play. If I play Workshop, they obviously strip mine me. If I play City, they might not, and then... Hmm. You know what? They do, fine. If they don't, then I can Might Stone into Tinker around Trap. All right. I assume Lotus Mox City passed this best line. That is what we took. Agreed. And untapped, holding up Brainstorm in addition to everything else. Transmute is interesting. It makes our Might Stone a lot better. Very patient. Wow. This format, man. We grid, they force it with the pass. We could just play Soul Ring and pass. Thanks, Thindry. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot more than Legacy, if I'm being honest. Well, Legacy mis is miserable right now, but... Wait, we can do... Wait, we have three, four, five, six, seven, five. We can do all of the things. All of them. We can do all of the things. Wow. That's sweet. All the, th all the things are coming. Brainstorm can still get them out of it, of course, and there is one unknown. Agreed. Right, they are going to brainstorm first. There's no way you let this go. Wow. Wow, we um <laughs> we get grid and then we tinker jewel or do we just get jewel? I'm sorry, we get Trinisphere and the game is over. We get Trinisphere and we tinker Pearl away. Probably for the one ring, honestly. Jewel can just kind of... And then lose to Saga. Yep. I'm going Trinisphere. Could lose the Needle. It's fine. I'm still going one ring. We're gonna get strip mine, sure. Yeah, they can't needle for a bit, huh? And if they if they strip mine us, they're further underneath this Trinisphere. We do have another land. Can't believe they let that transmute go. Little brewer's advantage. The legacy is starting.
All right, now they have force negation up. Could be a bowmaster, huh? Fuck. That actually hurts. I should have just gotten jewel, so I'd have blue mana. All right. All right, we can kill it and re-ring. Very aggressive legacy hand. I'll keep kill my workshop. I think we're actually in trouble here. They have another one. Oh, what the fuck, dude. In five, we're dead. No way to kill these things. Yeah, I fucked up. I should have played a jewel. Forget how badly you need blue mana. What are the odds? All they drew was lands and bowmasters so that they could get out of Trinosphere and play bowmasters. Does it get any better than that from them? I'm not sure it does. It puts us three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Matt went five and one. I think we're still in the top eight. Four out of seven X2s get in. We're definitely not in that bottom half, so I'm pretty sure we're in the top eight. All right, Legacy. Oh, wait. Uh, no, I don't think it's good enough. On the draw. Okay. This is good enough. They also mulliganed. Things are looking up, kid. They kept on six. <laughs> I think I want both my workshops. Ruby... The saga in two turns. Do I think I can win that fast? Probably, but maybe not. If they have a force and then they let this go and they force my thing, I'm pretty screwed. Turns on Luris, huh? They're reading Transmute Artifact. I bet you that's our draw right now. Ready? Nope. <laughs> Oh, we're in. That's a good one. Yeah. We'll be good. Wow. Kind of scary. Opted to pick up Luris. Means they've either got like Lotus or Key already in their hand, or they just figure it's faster than constructs, anyways. Perfect draw. Well, now we get to see. So they have four, seven, five.
three. We don't have enough, right? Four, seven is Lotus. Down to four to play Luris. Two for Toots. One for Key. Two. Yeah, there's no. I think we're okay for another turn. Mox. Hmm. So they tutor for a blue card and play Luris, and they kill us the following turn. Yes. But they got Lotus. They already... Maybe they drew a blue card. Oh, they already have Mox Jet, so they wouldn't have gotten that. Maybe they didn't draw a blue card. Yeah, they're... They're gonna dump the Lotus. Okay, they're gonna reload us. Interesting. It's a Bowmaster. Yeah, I think this is Tutor and a Bowmaster. And if they drew a blue card, that is not good for us. Oh. Okay. Hope you draw a bunch of non-blue cards. <laughs> Land isn't blue. We need a jewel, man. We need a jewel. Like a blue source plus a force. Black Lotus. It's a ton of good draws for us here. Still doing stuff over there. What is this? Cruise, okay. Can we chill out? No chill with this one. <laughs> Holy moly. Absolutely no chill with this one. I mean, we have to draw. Absolutely no world where we can pass there. Alright, so now... We're 12... Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not quite dead yet. <laughs> we pretty much are. Unless they somehow don't have a blue card. Or I guess they just they may not even have a key. Maybe I shouldn't have played that many rings. Felt like we needed to find either a blue source for Ancestral or a Force. Black Lotus can still do things. They played Lotus. Three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. They have double force. There's just no other reason you'd play Lotus there, right? Ooh, I'm not counting the uh mana vault damage. We are dead. All right. Oops.
All right, let's try this. Did not draw well from that ring. We'll see that. <clears throat> okay, lost. Undefeated in the Swiss, and then... <laughs> All right, we're on the play here. This can't be good enough. Does it turn one thing, but it's going to be really costly. Can I do it without that monolith? Three, four, five. I'll have two blue and a monolith. Three floatings. That goes to five. No, I need this monolith. Provided probe doesn't get me anywhere. Put metamorph down. We keep on seven. That doesn't feel good. Come on, show me no forces. Single force. That's a good draw, though. Now they have to counter this. They don't think it jeweled. Now they get rung. We rang in. Just dodge bow masters. Draw, draw, draw. All right, we got the mana. We got the one ring. We have one blue source. Mox, that's not a Bowmasters or a blue card. That's a blue card. All right. Underground Sea, Force of Will, Unknown. It's got to be a blue card, right? Or maybe not. Maybe you feel pressured to time walk either way. You'd rather be finding a Bowmasters anyways. Waiting around with the Force isn't really going to do it. Oh, come on. That's what you draw? Not like this, man. We have Odawara in play. 
Duel. Christ. Yeah, we're dead. That was their draw, right? <laughs> if it was in their hand, they would have played it before. They would have played it on the time walk turn. Definitely the best possible draw. I mean, ancestral into it is probably better. <laughs> but fuck me. Jewel's good. Really not many good draws, though, at this point. Yeah, that certainly doesn't do it. They got us. Well played. All right, well, hey. First vintage challenge. The new swing on Jewel. And we top it. A few hard lessons. A few mistakes. Pretty much what, what I would expect. I, I didn't expect to top eight, but we take those.